so what I'm looking to do here is I'm going to show how do you display the card draw in real time or at a certain state on the stream from one device or sorry from two different devices so what you need is a streaming PC of some sort and then a separate device like a tablet or like a different laptop that is independent from the stream setup. You can do it with the stream stream setup, it's just easier logistically in the tournament setting to have a separate device for administering the tournament itself. So starting off on the, let me start with OBS. So let me go ahead and copy the DVR tools link. I'm going to open OBS Studio. That's my preferred um, streaming program of choice here. We're going to add a browser source. So let's call this uh, DDR Tools Card Draw. All right, so we're going to paste the link in here and leave everything at default settings. What this provides you is a transparent version of the DDR Tools browser, so you can seamlessly display anywhere you want. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, interact. Optionally, if you left click on it, it also shows up right here as well. And I'm going to go ahead and create a host name. So let me just call this stream. And stream 9428 is my uh, PC's name. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw seven songs because that's the number of songs that's going to appear on the screen. And if you look at it, it's a little bit boxed up right now. It depends on how you want it to display on the stream is how we're going to get the layout set up. I forgot to click on show players and route labels and draws. So once I'm done with the interact window, I'm going to just kind of move it off to the side for now. So it's in the corner. And what I want to do is I would like this to be in a straight line. So I'm just going to double click on the browser source and change the width. So we'll try, I don't know, 1260 for the width. All right, everything's in a straight line, but it's still a little bit compressed. So let me try a different amount. Let's try 1400 little better. What's my monitor? 1920. Okay, that's pretty solid. Pretty wide. This might be bigger than what I want it to be, so I might want to go in between just a little bit. Uh, 1600 for the sake of videoing. Okay, that seems good enough to me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Alt and crop down to just where the songs display and I'm going to right click transform center horizontally and let me go ahead and crop out the bottom part of it too I just want to see one row at a time let me go back to the interact window let me click draw again so that let me make sure when I draw two of them it shows only one row at a time looks like we've achieved that let's just place this where I want it for now so I'll just place here Transform. Whoops. I actually clicked stretch the screen. <laughs> Transform. Center horizontally. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and let the screen go for now. I'm going to drag this off to the side. And I'm going to show the other screen um, side by side. So let me go ahead and just for the sake of demonstration. do that. So pretend the window I have on the right side is like another laptop. Usually my preferred device of choice is a laptop. I need to get the name of the, the host name of the other device or I can give it this name. So on the other device I'm going to call this admin as a reference to like the administrative PC to run the tournament. So 5453, let's go ahead and copy this. You can do it either way, but I'm just going to copy it from this window. Go into my interact window. And I'm going to connect to the peer in here. 
little bit small, but. All right, once it's successfully connected, you'll see like a green um, pop up show up at the bottom that shows remote peer blah, blah, blah connected. So let's go ahead and dismiss this on this screen. I'm going to dismiss it on the browser as well. And what happens there is um, the person running the card draw is going to be responsible for populating all the information on the screen and getting it the card draw to the state you want it to be in. So typically you want to add your tournament round label. The four players are going to be in the match. So let me go ahead and fill in all the players. And then you're going to want each player to do their actions too. So let's just go ahead and drop in four vetoes. And then just for personal preference, I'm going to reorder by pick man. It just, um, for me, it makes it easier to see what's happening. So I'm actually going to do this again. I forgot to enable that feature. Reset everything. And again, this is going to be the responsibility of the person running the card draw area. Reorder by pick man. What that means is like it'll move to the right side as you're interacting. Uh, protects will shift left, but in these rounds we don't have protects. Have DJ panic twice. Let me just get this correct for the sake of demonstration. All right, so once you have your card draw in the state you want it in, you are going to this pop out right here. Send to stream. And what that does is it's going to show the cards or the songs on the whatever the final state of the card draw is goes to the stream just like that. And if you don't want the vetoes to display on the interact window, go ahead and just click on hide veto charts. And you have that. Oops, let me get my window back up. Dismiss this. And that's what you get. And if you find this to be a little bit wide, go ahead and just go in here and just change the width of it. So I find the three a little bit too much now. Uh, let's try the 1200 again. Yeah, that looks more ideal to me in a three song setting. Now some optional things you could do in addition to having the card draws is have the names displayed coming from this part of the screen. So what you want to do for that is duplicate um, that source. You're going to uncrop the other parts of it. So I'm going to uncrop the top part that has like the tournament round label and the players and just drop it where I need to drop it. Ideally, my graphics are not in a way that um, are disruptive to the visual or the text. So if I, only, if I don't want the round label, for example, I would just crop that part out, resize it to my liking. Let's say I want the text to be just a little bit larger, for example. And this is not going to be perfect. This is kind of like just an example of how it could be done. Something like that. And what this does for you is as long as the person doing the card draw sets everything up um, on their end, then whenever you send it to the stream, it all updates. So let's say this match is concluded. I have another match queued up. Let's call this one... Um, for example, and I have these players that are playing. Let's go ahead and just go through all the actions like normal. And just for the sake of um, demonstration, I'm going to also put in some protects too, just so you can see what that looks like. 
so it just protects itself each player. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and send it to stream. All right, <clears throat> there is your updated arrangement, the name and the songs updated as I did that. And then if you have a format that if you have the downtime and the scene for it, another thing you could do with this is sync up the draws so that you can see everything happening in real time. Usually in a best of three format, you'll see something like um, a protect and a veto for each player until you get to the correct amount of songs. So let me switch this to two players per draw. And I'll do a winner's final example. So we'll just go ahead and go through the phase. So I usually, what I would do is set up the round label and the player names and do a start sync with stream PC. So you'll see there, that's how it looks on the stream. See, it looks like I've got six. So what I need to do here is change the width of this to accommodate the seven songs. And right click, transform set horizontally. So you got your seven songs on the screen now, right? So let's say DJ Panica protects Just Hold On. You can see here on the stream setup, it updated right in real time. So let's say Katie Waver decides to protect Mope Mope. All right, and let's go through the veto phases. I actually misclicked, I'm not going to do it again. And there you go, you have your best of three um, displayed on the stream and in real time. So if you have the capability of, or if you want to commentate on the draw as it's happening, you would use the start sync. And then the other one is send the stream as it's completed, and then you're ready to queue up the next match. I need to center this horizontally too because it's only two players. Uh, transform center horizontally. There we go. Yep, and that's about it for me over here. Any questions, let me know.